Welcome to Synagogues of Louisiana, Part 2. In this episode, we take a look at three cities in the southeast portion of the state. They are Manville, Materi, and New Orleans. Our first stop is in Manville, a small city on the north side of Lake Pontchartrain. As the sign reads, you are looking at North Shore Jewish Congregation in Manville, Louisiana. The congregation employs a visiting rabbi, Deborah Zetcher. The congregation started out as a small chabura in the 1980s. It took until 1995 to have enough members to rent space in a building. And by 2005, they purchased their own building, which you are seeing here. They have a religious and Hebrew school. Services are conducted every Friday evening for Shabbat, as well as most often on the second and fourth Saturday morning. They are a Reform-affiliated congregation and boast that they are the only synagogue between Baton Rouge and Biloxi, Mississippi. And now on to Materi. This is Shir Hadash, the conservative congregation. These words are also written on the outside of the building, as we will see in a couple minutes. Since 2009, its spiritual leader has been Rabbi Ethan Linden. Shabbat services are held both Friday evenings and Saturday mornings, followed by a Kiddush lunch. There is also a Sunday morning minion service and followed by a men's club breakfast. The same happens on Wednesday mornings. There is also youth programming, such as a mini minion on Saturday mornings and a junior congregation, as well as a Tat Shabbat. This congregation was founded in 1960. In August 2005, Hurricane Katrina devastated the building and the community. They were the first New Orleans area synagogue to hold services after Katrina, and the storm and its aftermath left a lasting impression on the community. But they are proud of their resilience after Katrina. They've come a long way since those storm-swept days, but are not yet finished recreating and building. With this close-up, you can see the denominational name on the wall. Let us now turn to a second Jewish facility in Materi. This is the Materi satellite site of the New Orleans JCC. It was built in 2003. One has to be impressed with the expense put out for the size of this building serving the entire Materi Jewish community. Another interesting point to make. This facility is a half a block away from the synagogue that we just described. The other two synagogues on our list are also on this same street, but two or three blocks further down. And now on to the second synagogue. As the sign says, this is Congregation Gates of Prayer, or better known also with the Hebrew letters shown, Sharei Tfila. It is a Reform congregation, originally established in 1850. As did most others, it was of the Orthodox persuasion. In 1904, it switched to the Reform affiliation. This building was dedicated in 1975. In 1987, a massive tapestry designed by Ephraim Weitzman was added to the front of the sanctuary. Further renovation was done in 2000. Hurricane Katrina in August 2005 caused over $1 million damage in flooding in the building. With the help of donations from people all over the country, they were able to quickly repair the building and reach out to members wherever they were scattered and to provide financial and spiritual support. Congregation Beth Israel in New Orleans proper, an Orthodox synagogue, was put out of business by Katrina and moved their operation to this building 
from the years 2006 to 2012, at which time they moved into their own new building next door to this facility on land that they purchased from Gates of Prayer. The congregation has both Friday evening and Saturday morning Shabbat services. Their spiritual leader is Rabbi Robert H. Lowy, a position he has held since 1984, and he has an assistant, Rabbi Alexis Pinsky. We believe we have located the previous synagogue building for this congregation. It was built in 1865 and has been rehabbed for use as a condominium. And now on to our third synagogue in Materi. This is the Chabad Center of Materi. They have Friday night and Saturday morning Shabbat services as well as a Sunday morning minion. Rabbi Yossi Nims is the director. The building was constructed in 1999. And now on to New Orleans proper. This is Congregation Anche Spard, an Orthodox synagogue. It is located in the historical uptown section of the city that was once the center of Jewish life in New Orleans. The building was erected in 1925. As a result of the Hurricane Katrina damage, the building was closed in August 2005 until 2006. The Torah scrolls were rescued. The synagogue is located a short walk from downtown hotels in the beautiful Garden District, and it is not uncommon to see tourists and business travelers attending services. We now turn our attention to another congregation in the New Orleans area that is also Orthodox. This is Congregation Beth Israel. It is now next door to that Reform Temple, Gates of Prayer, that is located in Maturi. The area has an Eru, which means that the strictly Orthodox congregational members can carry within a roped-off designated area. This means that town officials have allowed the rabbis to oversee the tying of ropes or wires between utility poles and buildings high enough off the ground so that it does not interfere with anyone's movement, yet is recognizable for its intended purpose. By the way, you can see to the left the Reformed Temple and the play area that separates the two congregations. The Orthodox congregation bought the land from the Reformed Temple after the building that they had been in was damaged beyond repair from Hurricane Katrina. The seven Torah scrolls that the synagogue owned were all damaged beyond repair after having been submerged in water for over a couple weeks. I'm not clear if there currently is an official shul rabbi. The Hebrew verse on the wall reads, mikdash which translates to, and you shall build for me a holy temple or a place of holiness, and I will dwell within it. This is an earlier site for this congregation, built in 1906 and staying there until about 1971. And this was the location of the shul from 1971 until 2005 Katrina. And now on to our next synagogue. This building here is the Chabad Lubavitch of Louisiana. It has been serving Jewish students who go to Tulane, Loyola, and the University of New Orleans since the fall of 1975. It is under the direction of Rabbi Label Lipskier. The building to the right of it is its new expanded facilities. It includes a kitchen, dining facility, recreation and study lounges, library, and other things. Here are other viewpoints of this new building.
And now on to our next synagogue stop. This is Temple Sinai, a Reformed congregation. It started in 1870. It holds Shabbat services both Friday evenings and Saturday mornings. Edward Paul Cohn is the rabbi. He has been the spiritual leader of this temple for close to 30 years. The congregation claims to have over 700 members. And one can see to the left that portions of its original structure from the early 1900s are still in use. And now on to the final synagogue in our tour of New Orleans. This is Turo Synagogue, a Reformed temple. They hold Shabbat services both Friday evenings and Saturday mornings. The current spiritual leader is Rabbi Alexis Burke. The Rabbi Emeritus is David Goldstein. They claim that their roots go back to 1828. It purports to be the first Jewish temple outside of the 13 original colonies and the sixth oldest synagogue in the country. The person that it is named after, Judah Turo, had been living in New Orleans since 1801, originally from Rhode Island. If his name sounds familiar, it's because his father helped found the synagogue in Newport, Rhode Island, also called the Turo Synagogue, as well as considered the oldest Jewish house of worship in the United States. This building was dedicated in 1909. This ends our tour of the three cities in the southeast section of Louisiana. More to come. See you real soon.